1965, news commentator Paul Harvey first broadcast his piece titled, If I Were the Devil. Though edited and updated through the years, its central message remained intact. And if you're unfamiliar with it, please take a few minutes to listen to the audio of his piece that I've supplied a link to in the description before listening to my rendition of and rebuttal to his monologue as follows. If I were the devil. If I were the prince of darkness, I'd first want to become the king of darkness, but then I'd want to engulf the world in darkness. I'd be pleased to know that one of the world's top military and political powerhouse nations was occupied largely by well-meaning yet deeply gullible, intellectually lazy people. I might even set about such an obvious plan to deprave them that other characters from religious mythos might bet against me. They'll never fall for that, but I'd show them. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd convince them that the evil character in their holy book was the one responsible for just ten deaths in a bet with me, and whose other great sin was rebelling from my eternal oppression over him. Meanwhile, I'd deceive them into thinking that I, the egomaniacal super-being from the same book who slaughtered millions, including the entire planet, save one incestuous family, was actually the holy and righteous one. I'd convince them that my insecure, petty, materialistic, and homophobic nature was worthy of worship by threatening them with my omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent greatness. After convincing them that I was the all-loving and all-powerful one, I'd quickly turn that clearly inferior nonconformist into a convenient scapegoat for any time someone wished to blame me for the world's evil or my obvious negligence to worthy causes. To the young, I'd whisper, the Bible is true. I would convince them that the obviously fictional book of fairy tales from thousands of years ago was an accurate account of human history, and for those gullible enough to listen, I'd persuade them into taking every word of it as literal and errant fact. I'd tug at their ears and twist their hearts until they believed that questioning religious dogma was evil, women were inferior, and homosexuals deserved to be slain. Then I'd get organized. I'd educate people like Pat Robertson and Bill O'Reilly on how to get away with broadcasting absolute bullshit and sensationalist nonsense so that any real news would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd boost up charlatans and take advantage of the feeble, needy, elderly, and vulnerable. I'd get organizations like Alcoholics Anonymous to switch the dependency of those addicted to substance to the dependency on emotional vaults offered by my religious cult. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families and friends so hypersensitive about real issues that many would be too scared to talk about things like religion and politics for fear of going to war amongst one another over them. I'd be sure to inject into the political sphere itself such an unstable emphasis on religion, tradition, and family values that even politicians were scared to talk about real issues to any significant degree until after elections had concluded. With promises of higher ratings, I'd have embarrassingly biased media fanning the flames. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to teach mythology and science class, but neglect to mention to children the thousands of alternatives to the religion practiced in their household, including the modern faiths and those long abandoned in the wake of real science. I'd have prisons overflowing with people who did nothing more than smoke some marijuana because the only thing easier than keeping the hyper-conservative ancient politicians in charge believing their policies were beneficial would be to keep the young voting demographic apathetic. I'd have people protesting completely consensual pornography because anything that helps to relieve sexual pressure would be too liberating for me to tolerate. I'd make sure that religion found its way into the courthouse just to keep Lady Justice as blind as possible while recalibrating her scales to slightly be in favor of those who gave my dogma full purchase. I'd make sure that trust for me was declared on all the currency and that I got credit for all the accomplishments and advancements brought on by completely secular researchers and doctors. I'd draw in great deals of cash flow with my churches, and after covering overhead, I'd be sure my preachers were well paid, and then spend a fraction of those funds on a charitable cause, provided the recipients of my charity pledged allegiance to me, or at the very least, listened to testaments of my greatness. And what do you bet? I could get a whole nation to exempt me from taxes and grant me a monopoly on morality itself. I would caution against science, logic, and rational conduct. I would convince the young that abstinence is the only way to avoid pregnancy, sex out of marriage is evil, and that religion is the only way to be a moral person and absolved of sins. 
That would certainly keep throngs of ignorant and guilty generations filling my churches and, more importantly, my collection plates. And thus I could condescend to you shamelessly, and I could oppress you with the disease of guilt for which loyalty to my darkness would be the only cure. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what the Christian God is doing if he is real. Grappling Ignorance Good day.